winner, Jim. All right, Barry, thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. You've been taking quite a bit of time here just in, in your own thoughts. What are you thinking right now? First, I want to thank um, God first for, for this victory and everything like that. Second, I want to thank uh, Al Heyman, uh, Maywell Promotion, Showtime. Uh, we did it again in New York City, baby. Thank you, New York City. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, first, I won my first bell here. It was great to come back to uh, New York City and uh, do it again, man. I was thinking um, as, you know, this interview was coming up, as much as I wanted to be cocky, but I want to thank um, Roly. I want to thank his, his team. Um, we settled it like a man inside the ring, and uh, I wish him the best in the future. Yet you were quite annoyed by him and his antics throughout the promotion of this fight. How satisfying does that make this victory? I'm sorry, can you say it again? You were quite annoyed by him and his antics throughout the promotion of this fight. So how satisfying to you is this victory? Um, I knew that it was all about uh, setting the fight. Uh, I'm glad that we didn't fight the first time because uh, I was so emotional. But um, I'm just thankful and grateful to be in this position and uh, be able to come out with a win. Was he a little stronger than you thought going into this fight? Uh, no. He was strong, for sure, but um, it was a couple shots that, that uh, I was getting warmed up and he, and he caught me, and I was like, I can't sit there with him just yet. I know when to, I know when to take, it, take it to my opponents and when to chill out. It was somebody in the crowd, I don't want to say his name, but they were telling me to press forward, and I was like, nah, not yet, not yet. I got to loosen them up a little more. You were engaged in the crowd. You kind of reacted to your mom dancing, and you were talking to some folks, weren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'll be trying to, like, get that vibe from when I'm in the gym. You know what I mean? I don't like to be cooped up, like, uh, when a fight comes because, you know, I'm, some, I'm a type of person that I panic. You know what I mean? So I like to have fun. And you were having some fun. Let's take a look right here at the end of this fight uh, as you uh, uncork this big, big-time punch with that straight left hand. Tell us from your vantage point. Great shot. Ooh. The crazy thing is, I didn't even throw that hard. I just threw it. He just ran right into it. Some, some like uh, when Pacquiao got caught by, uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, I ain't even throw it hard. I just set it right there. Boom. He ran right into it. And he the one ran into something talking about me. He said he was going to run into something. He might have fallen straight down on his face had there not been the ropes there. Yeah. Uh, Thank God he's good. He, he is okay. He left the ring. Fight again in uh, 90 days. He will be able to fight again. He left the ring, embraced by his father. Uh, he did all the talking before the fight, but you were talking during the fight. Can you repeat to us what you were saying? Uh, I was just trying to have fun, trying to psych myself out. Uh, I knew that I could get in his head. You know what I mean? Just by the when we when we uh, weighed in. You know what I mean? And, uh, I knew his goal was to get in front, uh, in front of me. So when he went in front of me, he didn't realize that uh, the um, the stand was like coming to an end. So I just tapped him short, and then he fell. So what would you like to do next? I mean, we've got the Cambosis Haney fight coming up. There's Ryan Garcia. He's in the crowd here this evening. Uh, you've got Lomachenko. What would you like to do going forward, Tank? I'm here, baby. I'm here. Whatever what they want to do, I'm here, baby. Ain't no safety on this Glock. You know? Ain't no safety on this Glock. <laughs> and I got a lot of ammunition. Let, let, let's, let's, let's stay away from guns. This is an awful time in our nation. So uh, I know you're just meaning this in, in terms of, of boxing. Uh, yes. First, uh, I want to I wanna, uh, say, uh, send my condolences to uh, Mr. Russell. You know, uh, he, he was somebody that we, we came up with uh, in, in the amateurs and things like that. Uh, I want to shout out to the Russell brothers and, and, and send my love and condolences to them. All right. And congratulations on just a terrific fight here this evening. Thank you. Thank you.